Hello, hello, hello everyone. This is your teacher friend from the Philippines. This is James the Page Teacher for another Flush Tube video update. If you are watching for the first time, this video or this channel is all about cross stitching. Welcome and please do subscribe if you are a fan or if you have if you have a hobby in cross stitching. And if you are a regular or returning viewer or an existing subscriber, welcome back once again for another Flush video update and thank you very very much for coming back. And also I would like to thank those who have liked my video, my previous video and also have commented. Thank you, thank you very much. I really really appreciate uh, all your comments and also if you are on Instagram I have also an, an account there uh, which is James the page teacher so I have been posting updates of my progress of my uh, cross stitch projects or whip so today is February 26 uh, it's already the end of February it will it uh, I think three days from now it will be March and as you have uh, as you have seen on my previous video I am doing a fancy uh, lady February sale with uh, Don Marie and her friend Anna and other uh, cross teachers uh, Don Marie which is uh, DMs crafty vortex where uh, it's either you will be starting a new um, fancy lady or me you will be stitching your uh, current uh, fancy lady whip so this video the title of this video is flush tube number 31 uh, Bellas and Miras episode 12 week 3 and week 4 of Fancy Lady February so I'll be inserting uh, the progress of my uh, whips my Fancy Lady whips in week 1 and week 2 so here's the video I hope you have enjoyed uh, what you have seen on the progress of my uh, uh, projects or whips that I had worked on uh, last two weeks. So this video, I'll be showing to you 
four fancy ladies that I have worked on. Two of these are new starts last week and this week and two are my current whips. Also in this video, I will be showing to you um, some hauls that I've purchased or some patterns that I've purchased and also I will be sharing to you free FFOs so this would be the first time that I will be having a fully finished object so please stay tuned at the end of the video so let us go first with some shout outs or readings on the previous uh, video first is the intuitive stitcher uh, she said beautiful projects and stitching I'm sure you will choose the right fabric you can lay the floss on the fabric to see what looks best so thank you very much the intuitive stitcher uh, for that um, suggestion on how to choose the right fabric so all you have to do is just uh, look at the lay down the the floss on the fabric if it will match thank you very much also page pages and stitches uh, she said, I like your fabric choices for your upcoming starts. I'm looking forward to watching your progress. Thank you very much. And also, lastly, we have the simple stitch. She said, hi, James. Love them all. You are a beautiful stitcher. Thank you. Thank you very much for that wonderful um comments and uh also the suggestions it 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 would be it is a uh happy and very nice community community especially uh this this stitching community especially if you have if you want to ask some questions or if you want to ask some um suggestions uh the members of the community are very willing to share their suggestions and share the experience in in cross teaching so thank you very much so if you have uh, questions or if i have questions later here in the in the in this video you can uh, you are very open to to comment down below and of course if you want to ask some questions uh, I will uh, answer that uh, whenever I uh, see those comments so once again thank you very much for those who have liked and who have those uh, who have commented the previous video so let's go now to the projects that I have stitched so it has been two weeks so we are now let's start with week three and uh, this is not a a normal thing of mine where I have I have been working I have been I have only four whips for the past two weeks but uh, you will see why um, I do uh, why I only have four whips so let's start with my third new start this February this is from Bella Filipina this is Azotea. So I've started this one for last week and I've stitched this one for three days and this is where I am with Azotea. So I started on the So I started on this on this part. So this fabric is a 32 count even weave uh, Morano cream. 
and I am I have now st gone stitching in her dress so I have I still don't have the um, embellishments and the special threads that's why uh, the flowers are not complete so this is my first project or whip that I have worked on last week as of next after three days this is the next uh, whip that I have worked on this is now my oldest um, Mirabilia whip which is a Midsummer Night's Fairy so this was supposed to be finished last year but unfortunately I haven't touched this one since last year because I don't know I don't feel like to stitch this one so let's have a picture the last time you saw the last time the the last time you saw this one or the last time uh, you saw the progress of the a midnight summer a midnight midsummer nights fairy sorry so she has now her wings so i finished all her wings although there are some mistakes on the wings but that's okay it will not be seen so what i did on the blending filament is instead of using one strand i use um, two strands so there there are there were uh, blending filaments that that I will be using two strands and then there is also a uh, an instance where you stitch a thread and then you uh, stitch one blending filament but I all of the blending filament I use two strands because I had a difficulty on stitching a blending filament because it's especially the blue one it always wears out but the pink one is a bit okay so I am a bit of a finish here the lacking will be this one and uh, some ribbons here and after that one I will now go to the beading part so hopefully this will be my first Mirabilla, Mirabilia finish this year and also a fan, fancy lady finish this year so this is the Midsummer Nights Fairy another close-up look there you go so that is week number three so let us now go to week number four the last week of my february fancy lady february south this is a new start this is from bella filipina this is maria Makiling. So I uh, stitched this one. I sup I was supposed to stitch this one for three days, but I was drawn into the on to the design and the pattern, and I stitched this one from Monday to to Friday or Saturday. Monday Monday Friday. Monday to Saturday so six days of stitching last Friday um, 
here in our country it was declared as a non-working holiday so I had plenty of time stitching her and then of course uh, yesterday Saturday so this is now the progress of Maria Makiling there you go this is now the progress of Maria Makiling so I have stitched already finished her hair and also her face uh, lacking is the back stitching on her shoulder and I also finished um, stitching the some parts of the of her wings so she's one of the beautiful faces of Bella Filipina Maria Makili. I didn't stop stitching until I finished this her garment here so this is stitched on a 32 count uh, Murano even weave uh, the color of this one I think is pearl gray and I'm happy that uh, there is I am happy with the result using this fabric so once again this is Maria Makiling a new start this week last is hmm, is a whip this is another um, pattern from Bella Filipina. This is Aqua Marina. This is uh, Bella Filipina's first release mermaid. And let's have a look on the last time we saw Aqua Marina, the progress of Aqua Marina. I have stitched this one yesterday last night and today uh, this afternoon and this is where I am with aqua marina so my target is to finish her face and that's it that is her face and I am now uh, stitching her body so as you can see there were there are some um, lacking stitches here these are the beads and the metallic threads i haven't have it yet so i still need to purchase that one i uh, purchased first the beads of some of my mirabilia whips after that one i'll be uh, purchasing one by one my uh, Bella Filipino loops so this is a 32 this is stitch on a 32 count Morano fabric uh, I haven't searched the name of this fabric but it's a bit like a uh, uh, like a color of the sea with waves so after uh, uploading this video I will be stitching her so this is aqua marina okay so those are my four uh, whips that I had worked on for this past two weeks and finally the fancy lady February is now finish this week and next week will be it's time for my full coverage projects and my um our forest embroidery whips uh to that i will be stitching so for the my plan for next week 
in the month of March. So first, maybe I'll be stitching first the for the first two weeks. I'll be stitching first the Alfred's embroidery, and um, next two weeks will be my um, full coverage projects. Or maybe uh, on the weekdays, uh, my my I'll be stitching the alpha rest embroidery and then on the weekends maybe friday from sa sunday will be my full coverage so on the month of march there will be two videos uh video flush job updates uh that would cover my full coverage and my alpha rests and other uh whips so you will be seeing uh my fancy lady whips in the month of April so I'll be um, putting this in my storage so let us go now to the uh, patterns that I have purchased so once again uh, a friend of mine in Instagram Sir Moy if you happen to know him uh, he is a moderator in the Bella Filipina uh, Stitcher Facebook group and he is distashing um, some of his mirabilia patterns and mostly uh, he wanted to uh, distash it or yes to sell it on within the Philippines because of of course the mailing uh, fee so I purchased more <laughs> of his uh, D-Stash Mirabilia design. So the first one is the Raven Queen. Next is Andromeda. then the three remaining whips are out of print so it's a bit uh, it has different price but it's uh, what you call this affordable as as i say so first is the butterfly fairy i hope you can see it there you go the butterfly fairy and then this one i am longing to have this one this is garden versus I was very happy that he has this uh, he has still had has this copy and Christmas flourishes there you go so on the OOP that I wanted to have uh, there are three remaining uh, patterns the first one will be the uh, I forgot ideal fairy the second one is the the dreamer and the last one was the Madonna in the garden so those are the three remaining OOP that I want to have um, so those are my uh, holes so I am still uh, awaiting uh, uh, the, the beads that I purchased for some of my mirabilia whips and also the latest pattern and i mean the latest release of bella filipina which is the phoenix queen and i think this march one there is another release of bella filipina so let us now go to my fully finished um objects so this is not a fancy lady but this is from Al Forest embroidery uh, at first 
I this was a customized I ordered this one it was a customized frame but I made a mistake because I given the wrong uh, measurements because instead of uh, telling it the measurements for um, 18 count I use the uh, I use the 18 count measurement so I made a mistake but uh, a while ago I'll I open and see the frames and I tried to um, insert and measure the these patterns and uh, I think it fits but not perfectly fit there is one pattern that I can see that it is uh, it is a perfect fit so these are my Al Forest embroidery um, uh, FFOs which is from the bird series the first one is the gold finches and this is now so as you can see the borders are not the spaces here especially here is not equal so I think I might have to add a design over here just to uh, what you call this make it equal the space will make it equal but this is gold finches another FFO is another for another bird series from Alpharest and bird this is this is Kingfisher this is a bit an okay fit for the kingfisher so there is an extra um, space here and here but I think it's all better than this one so I might um, add some um, decor or lace just would make it like uh, remove the spaces in the frame and the last one I think this looks perfect for the frame here's uh, another Alfred's embroidery from bird series this is swallows so I think this is a perfect there you go perfect 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 Okay, so these are my free first time ever FFOs. Yay! So maybe next plus trip video I'll be putting this one so that you can uh, you will be seeing not just the background but this beautiful. Um, at the close of mine so that's it for now I hope you have enjoyed what you have seen um, please do uh, follow me on Instagram which is James the page teacher uh, I always post there uh, whenever I finish uh, after I stitch mostly every night so or every other day or every two days so and also I have a Facebook page which is also James the page teacher so I am now regularly posting uh, there and of course if you haven't subscribed on my channel please do uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so that if ever I'll be um, uploading or having a live um, stitch with me just like uh, yesterday so you will be notified so probably next week I'll be having another stitch with me live uh, what I did 
uh, last Saturday, I have an hour of Stitch With Me Live in, on YouTube. And then, after that one, I uh, go to Instagram and have a live there for an hour or 30 minutes. So, maybe I'll be doing that one next week. So, once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you are doing fine. I hope you had an I hope you will be enjoying and have enjoyed what you are stitching right now and happy happy stitching uh, happy happy stitching everyone and see you next flush of a bye bye